Print Fan. <clears throat> Happy Thursday. I'm going to be shaking because I've got a sleeping baby in my arms. We've got four different orders to print this morning. Um, all of them are Christmas cards. Three of them are 5x7s. Two, one of them is 4x6, which I'm still unsure how to price that. People expect a lower cost for 4x6, but in reality it cost me the same since you can only fit four on a 12 by 18 and you can also only fit four 5 by 7s on a 12 by 18 uh, anyway i'm gonna get those printed this morning i do have some eight and a half by 11s they're supposed to be coming through later today as well as uh, another set of christmas cards that i'm just waiting for approval on but like i said yesterday my goal is to try to get to inbox zero and part of doing that is getting these jobs done and out the door so that those emails are not in the inbox so let's go get some printing done all right profam right now i am working on these white toner shirts <clears throat> it's here comes amazon here comes amazon right down my driveway they're going on just some blank or some plain white shirts I got them from Sanmar. I prefer the PC55, so it's a Portland Company 5050 cotton poly blend. So I'm gonna get these all pressed. I've got a couple of others that I can do at the same time. Um, so I did mess up a bunch of them, but frankly, it was my fault. I had the Uninet stuff programmed in the Fusion and I had it on the wrong one. So I had it on just the pressing one for cotton instead of the marrying one. The biggest problem was I wasn't doing it long enough. The, the application process is only 30 seconds. The marrying process is two minutes. So I wasn't letting it basically bake long enough. So got that figured out after ruining four and wasting a bunch of money, but that's okay. This is only really my only like second time running this process and I'd rather lose a little money now than hate the stuff later but been able to get a few of them successfully done got the ones that I messed up reprinted so I'm gonna get these done and then get them applied all right guys got those shirts all finished up and the customer actually came and got them he was my buddy and there for an event for his wife tonight so that's why I was in a rush to get them done but they are all taken care of so He's happy with them. He also ordered some Christmas cards, so he picked those up at the same time. Right now, I'm working on a shirt for my wife. It's her sister's birthday tomorrow, and it's gonna be a pair of running shoes. So I'm gonna find, um, I guess, a pair of running shoes to, made to look like lungs. So I gotta go find some artwork online that I can use to make that happen uh, before I turn the heat press off. So I'm gonna get that going I should actually go turn the heat press back to the right setting so I don't mess it up and I think I think that's about all I need to get done today I did get another order for some heat transfers that I'll have to get done um, but yeah I think that's, that's about it so Gotta get back to work. It's almost six. I tried not to work past six. And then if I need to work more, I come out after the kids are asleep. So I'm probably coming back out. So I won't end the vlog yet. So I'm working on a 500 piece order. It's actually a thousand pieces. So I'm doing 12 by 18s, cutting down to eight and a half by 11. I'm 
letting the Duplo do all the cutting even though it's slower because I've got too much to do. Normally you'd want to cut it down on like the stack cutter. That'd be faster and more efficient. print bam I'm gonna call it a night it is almost midnight the Duplo still has about a hundred sheets I'm just gonna go to bed and let it do its thing and wake up in the morning I've got to run and get some more envelopes and hopefully those will be done <clears throat> there are no jams or anything and I can deliver those and then I've got some heat transfers that I'm waiting for an email back hopefully I can get those done in the morning before I go to get some envelopes in Salt Lake as all those customers are on the way there. So if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave them down in the comments. Uh, if you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. You can support monetarily using Amazon affiliate links, buying business cards, etc. down below. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, Print Fam. Thanks for editing the video cam, and we'll see you next time. I didn't meet my goal today. Bye.